could happen for the outbreak. So we have designed a special coil. These doctors are from Ethiopia. They are now in one of the leading companies in China for medical imaging equipment. This is part of their training which started in mid-August. More than 20 doctors from Ethiopia participated in the training, mainly from teaching hospitals and general hospitals. Nearly half of them are radiologists and imaging technicians, as well as some oncologists and cardiopulmonary doctors. The training is mainly on new technologies, new developments, and the application of artificial intelligence in clinical diagnosis. The training in Shanghai lasts five days. It includes visiting manufacturers and classroom training by the city's leading hospital. In addition to receiving classroom training, on-site practice is also important. Now the doctors and the city's famous Zhongshan Hospital to get a deeper understanding of their training and how China's medical system works. At China's leading department of nuclear medicine, Doctors show them the application of positron emission tomography scanner, or PET. The new and most advanced technology gives comprehensive pictures of cells and tissues inside a patient's body. The technology is considered the best way so far to guide the treatment of tumors and neuro and cardio diseases. Ethiopia is going to get its first PET scanner soon. Uh, until now, there is no PET in Ethiopia, but it's coming soon. So we're going to do PET scan, so that's very useful for us. The treatment also opens new doors for future cooperation. They are eager to send their uh, radiology doctors to our centers to have a three to six months training to help them to uh, handle the basic skills of the nuclear medicine so that uh, we can um, help them to build the new department of nuclear medicine and also the benefit of patient in their country. Apart from medical imaging technology, understanding the workflow of Chinese hospitals is also important for some doctors, as the population of Ethiopia is rising quickly. A Chinese hospital would see thousands of patients each day and every patient would get care. So for us, you know, in Ethiopia, especially at government hospitals, it's very hard to imagine everyone getting care at the same day. So it would be good to actually see it somewhere else, operating very efficiently, and then for us to actually copy it. So far, since the first medical team to Algeria in 1963, China has sent 53 batches of medical teams, over 23,000 medics to 53 countries in Africa. They have helped build 130 clinics and trained almost 50,000 medics there. The Hospitals Alliance will facilitate more such exchanges, as well as investment in Africa by Chinese companies to produce vaccines and medicines. Wu Bin, CGTN, Shanghai.